There are some people we meet in our 60 Minute Stories who we just can't let go, whose next chapter we're compelled to follow. Like Derek, a masterful musician who is blind with disabilities so severe he can't tell his right hand from his left or hold anything but the simplest of conversations. Connecting with audiences in ways most musicians wouldn't dare, taking requests with a twist. Would you like to have a piece, uh, okay. lady? Um, my piece is Ain't No Sunshine. Do you know it? I do know Ain't No Sunshine. And the twist? He'll play it in any key they choose. B major. B major, Derek. B Derek. major. Ooh, wicked. And in any style. What Perhaps style so. would you like it in? Ragtime. 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 OK, so Ain't No Sunshine, B major, ragtime. OK. Remember, he had no idea what song would be chosen. No rehearsal. New key and new style. No problem. It's breathtaking to watch. Life has thrown down many challenges for Derek Paravicini, but mastering the piano was second nature. Don't be fooled by the sheet music. That's for his mentor, Adam Oppelford, who's worked with him since he was five. Derek was born blind and autistic. When Derek was very little, he was, uh, the world was a very chaotic place for him. He couldn't see, he couldn't understand much language. And he was just this bundle of energy. And yet when he touched the piano, he became brilliant. For the past year, composer Matthew King has been writing a concerto for him. Inspired by Derek's favourite composer, George Gershwin, it'll be premiered tonight in London. The piano concerto, in a funny way, is supposed to be a little kind of version of the Derek story. It starts in a very kind of dark place where the music's trying to make sense of the world, if you like. It's a very kind of mysterious beginning, isn't it, Derek? Yes, it is. And then we yeah. get going, suddenly fascinating rhythm kicks in, doesn't it? Yeah. And it's as if the lights have gone on. And uh, the idea was that, that music kind of made sense of the world for Derek. Does music help make sense of the world for you, Derek? Does it, do you have that feeling? Uh, I do have that feeling that music makes sense to me, Tim, yeah. This is the first time a piano concerto has been composed for someone with severe learning difficulties. And because of Derek's blindness, and thanks to his incredible musical abilities, he's learnt the entire piece by ear. Derek, the way it's worked is you've heard it on the machine, haven't you, on the audio, yeah. and then you've copied it. Is I that... have copied it, yeah. So Derek it processes it, he hears it, it goes into his brain, and then he, he reproduces it. Derek's been nicknamed the human iPod. He can play any piece of music, having heard it just once. I'm going to randomly choose a, a song from my MP3 player. Here we go. OK. Final rehearsals for Derek's concerto. He hasn't just learnt his part, but that of every other instrument, so he knows when to play. Tonight, an extraordinary musician hopes to deliver a truly extraordinary performance. Tim Muffet, BBC News. Daniel is en route to London to meet a man with extraordinary powers of recall Whether it's your favorite song or a jingle you heard on the radio, we've all had a day when a tune gets stuck in our head, but imagine having over a million songs locked in your brain. I've come to London to find a man who can not only remember every song he's ever heard, but play them all note for note. That's because Derek Parafuccini is a piano playing savant with a possible superhuman ability. At birth, Derek was 15 weeks premature. 
who is also born blind and with severe autism, a disorder that affects the brain's ability to understand or communicate basic human emotions. But amazingly, by the age of two years old, Derek started playing the piano and music began unlocking his mind. Derek's brain has focused all its power on one area, enabling him to memorize and play music to a level way beyond what was ever thought possible. Maybe science could use people like Derek to one day find a way to unlock and focus hidden abilities in all of us. The rumba. The rumba. One, two, three, four. <laughs> some pianists who can play a million notes a second but it doesn't mean anything because it doesn't have any feeling you know um, and there are other people who can play the simplest thing and just sort of get you there you know and Derek I think has the importantly has the ability to do both Derek's talent is clear but it raises questions where does genius like this come from and how can it possibly coexist with such severe disabilities Diese Genies. Wissenschaftler wollen wissen, ob eine Inselbegabung in jedem von uns steckt. Wir können alle unsere Leistungen eklatant verstärken, wenn wir uns entsprechend auf diese Situation einrichten. I would like to uh, do one more uh, piece that I put together for you tonight, and uh, it takes place with uh, two pretty inspiring TED performances that I've seen. Uh, one of them is the uh, piano player Derek Paravicini, who happens to be a blind autistic genius of the piano, and Emmanuel Jal, who's an ex-child soldier from the South Sudan, who's a spoken word poet and rapper. So um, I hope you enjoy this. Uh, here we go. Friends like Loire, Ludard on my side of starvation. 